Here we go. If you could hear that, that was the controller vibrating with me touching into the microphone. Zangus was delighted. Zangus came to its senses. The door to Zangus' heart opened up a lot. And of course, we need a radar to tell us what is in our party. Yeah. 21,599 experience points. We get level 29, of course. Level 30. Level 31. Level 32. I don't know why I'm starting to sound more and more Scottish as I'm talking like that. Level 33. 34. And there we go. We have a level 34 Zangus upon purification. Feels good to have a new purified Zangus. Let's take on these bodyguards. Above here is the factory's all-important control machine. I can't let you pass, even if it takes inches off my chest. So he says this. But you know, those guys downstairs, we couldn't pass by them because they had the common sense to not battle us and just stand there with our muscles in our way. Because, you know, it's against the rules or something to send out Pokemon against somebody who hasn't sent out Pokemon against you, or... I don't really understand the train of thought, but I just sort of observed that. But those guys downstairs, they we were no match for them until Gonzap showed up. So, you know, you could at least delay my plans by making me have to go all the way down there and go and get walking to, you know, start walking up here to take care of you. Just saying, you know, that might be a little bit smarter of a move. Uh, crap, actually, I have kind of a bad matchup here. Uh, Hitmontop, I believe, is the second fighting type Pokemon we have come across since obtaining uh, Zangoose. I'm going to go for Protect because I think it's going to go for my quad weakness here. So we'll go for that. Zangoose will use an attack on Golduck there, so one less thing to worry about. Wow, that didn't do as much as I was hoping for. At least it lowered its defense, though, but still. Scratch! And it was gonna use it on Billy Bob? <laughs> you guys are morons! Dude, that is like the dumbest AI I think I've seen in a long time. That is like the dumbest I have fought in a really long time. Let's switch out to Jinzo. Okay. Quite tech on Golduck. Golduck, by the way, your model looks really, really sad. Just saying. It was gonna do Aerial Ace on Billy Pop. What is wrong with you? What you're gonna do? Oh wait, are you gonna triple kick on Claydol too? No. Oh wow, he actually was smart. He actually did do triple kick on the right Pokemon. Okay. <laughs> Ivy beaten chest muscle size. He's just petty. He has to know that he won in something. I, I know, dude. Sometimes when you're having a bad day, you do have to feel like you won in something, so you just have to tell yourself stuff like that. I fully understand you, man. I know exactly where you're coming from. Anyway. We step up here. This guy does nothing to stop us from going over here and grabbing TM26. What might that contain? Well, Earthquake! Okay, now all there's to do is adjust the voltage. Let me see. Where's the system lever? Huh? Whoops, I left it on my desk. That's not smart. Should take lessons from Smartin, yeah. Oh, hey, that's the system lever. You went, and got, you went and got it for me. Thank you. Wait, who are you anyway? You don't belong here. Darn, the voltage goes up even a little. The computer controlling the whole facility will shut down. Uh, and oh gosh, if that were to happen, the Shadow Pokemon production software could be destroyed. I can't let you lay one finger on this control machine. So he battles us, and that voltage is rising every second that he's not touching it. So he opts to not find some way to shut it off, not, I don't know, cut some wire or something like that? No, he's just gonna battle us instead. Okay, Cedra and Grumpig. Let's do this. Important battle, thy name is... Chug, I don't know. I really don't know where I was going with that. Let's just obliterate this guy. We get a chance to try out a new Shadow Ball move. We're gonna use Thunderbolt for like the eight gazillionth time, or... How can I make a pun of that? Joltzillion time? Uh... I don't know. I, I I feel like there is a pun in there, but I'm not really sure what it is. Gigawatts? No. I'm just not able to come up with it in camera. But okay. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not thinking hard enough. Okay. Got a level on mustache. And this guy went down really freaking quick for having a team of five Pokemon. Just saying. You can't have it. Give back the system lever. Maybe he thinks if he hits himself in the head, we'll feel sorry for him and we'll give it back though. But sorry, man. I ain't that kind of guy. You gotta have... Wow. Did he jump off the building as well? I guess Gorgon's really, really fresh to deal with. Says to adjust voltage, use the system lever. Warning, do not raise the voltage too high. What happens if we lower it? Okay. Nothing happened. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna be a naughty boy. I'm gonna raise the voltage. It's going wild. And once that happens... I, this probably wasn't very smart to do on a building that I'm standing on top of just saying. Hey, you look.
look familiar in the yellow scarf. What's going on? The production line stopped. Our control... The control computer's not responding. Guess you better use control alt delete. <laughs> oh, you're that punk for the SS Libra. You're behind this, aren't you? Oh no, what the blazes, the Shadow Pokemon production software has been deleted! Gorgon gets furious when things don't go his way, he's gonna chew me out again! Smartin, once again! You don't really come off as the very smart type. I, I still think Smartin would have been a better name for the statistics guy, but oh well, maybe that's supposed to be the irony in it. Okay, it's not really that big of a deal that I wouldn't one shot it there, but you know what I mean. Go for the Thunderbolt on Weezing, in true anime fashion, we're gonna have our electric type starter Pokemon use Thunderbolt on Weezing, and it's gonna one- uh, okay. Maybe James just has really bad IVs and special defense. We'll just call him that. Or DVs, because he got it in Kento. I'm such a nerd! Man, I... <sighs> Sometimes I... Out-nerdify myself, and it scares me. Experience too. Uh, okay. Because I think Billy Bob is actually now my lowest level Pokemon. Uh, wait, did I... I actually canceled that. Okay, yep. So we'll do that. I'll go for... I'll go for the Thunderbolt to take out that Earth Ring so Arbok is left all alone. I know that Arbok can technically paralyze me if it uses Glare, but... Actually, no. Fighting against it is a Shadow Pokemon. The hell am I saying? It doesn't have access to Glare. It's just gonna be Shadow moves. Okay. But... Really? A level 35 Earth Ring. Uses Scratch for its primary same type attack bonus and hit. Are you serious? There we go! Smartin at long last has fallen. Gorigan just snaps his fingers. That's all he has to do in disappointment of this. He's like, I'm gonna get chewed out majorly. Is he gonna jump off the building too? What is it with these guys jumping? Freaking radar. What is it with these guys jumping off of this building? Seriously. It's just like, I, I guess you're falling into water so you can survive it if you had know how of how to do it though, but still, it doesn't look like water that's at least that's pleasant to swim around. And I guess Gorigan really just is that scary. Alright, I went, I healed up, I switched my party around. Even though I don't normally start off with my two strongest Pokemon in any kind of important battle, I think here, it's justified. Let's go in. Where are all my crew? You wiped them out, every last one! Impossible! One kid took down all those shadow Pokemon we made? Ugh. In wrecking my factory, you smeared dirt all over my good name and standing! It's freaking Donkey Kong! You've done it now. I'm steaming mad, and there's no forgiving that, ever! Be prepared to drop! <laughs> 